a slice depending on how you're looking at the crown. So if I'm looking at it from this particular angle, I have the ability to slice through this crown. We have our ball, which we can then roll through our slice and analyze what does that look like on a sliced parameter. Where this really came into play in the past is can you see here, for instance, if I zoom this right up, we have what we call over milling. Now this is the diameter of the burr that has to come into this tipped area for it to get to the depth so that it doesn't create an interference. The burr has to over mill some of the restoration on the inside to create more space. Again, this will be explained in, in courses and explained around why certain preparations are ideal for utilizing in CEREC, why we're keeping nice rounded edges is because we're trying to understand a preparation compared to a design from a milling unit and the mill it has its parameters that it has to adhere to. So you're trying to marry up a hand prep to a milling unit and allowing those two to be married together to give you the best outcome with the littlest amount of over milling. Over milling simply means that there's going to be more space provided for cement. If we had a really thin crown, an overmill can create an area fracture because it has to be a lot thinner in that particular area than what you would anticipate. So it's good to do an analytical design and I tend to pull these analytics if we had a fracture or something happen in a restoration. You redraw your case, open them up, go through this and then go through these slices to understand why did this fracture in the first place.